Hey YouTube, it's Liberty4343 here uh, today. Uh, today is kind of a special day. It's an unboxing of something that I've been waiting for. Uh, not for too long, just since this Saturday. Uh, you can probably guess in the title what it is. Uh, first, a little sneak peek here. There you go, let's see if that comes in there. Shipping, Emerson Knives from Harbor City, California. So I figured we'd do an unboxing video here and my very first impressions. Uh, just to tell you a little bit about what this is, in case you don't know, uh, Emerson, in addition to doing lotteries at various shows like the Plaza Cutlery Show and other knife things like maybe G4 or the Last Gathering, I should say, for USN and those typical places, also has an online lottery and auction every year. And so I decided this year I was gonna try my luck. And uh, so I did, I entered. And lo and behold, I'm watching the video online and my name comes up. I was totally blown away. I do want to, of course, you know, give a shout out to the Emerson family uh, for having this. It's very cool. They also had an auction and um, the auction had some amazing knives. And of course, some of the items, uh, you know, went to great causes. So thank you to the Emerson family, of course, for that. All right, got my nice CQC7 here. Really dig this knife. Made myself a little lanyard there. And this knife is just breaking in so nicely. So smooth. I bought this at the Plaza Show back in October. And it was my first Emerson. And I had a custom Emerson, but I just couldn't bring myself to carry, you know, a $1,200 knife. But then the lottery was posted, and, um, you know, if you're interested, of course, you can go check out the Emerson site, and they'll show you how to become a, a member and be entered in the next year's auction, and the next year, or uh, next year's lottery, I should say, as well. If you can't make it, it's a great way to have a chance to buy a custom Emerson without necessarily having to travel to a show. There's the box. Number one hard use knife in the world. And booyah. Check it out, custom mini Gypsy Jack. I've only seen the Gypsy Jack once, not even the mini Gypsy Jack, but I saw it at the Plaza show where I ended up picking up my CQC7. See what's inside first here. Famous in the worst places. Very cool. Nice little sticker there. Mini Gypsy Jack. This is so cool. I had to actually go on the website for Arizona Custom Knives and check out just some of the specs for this thing since it was really the only place I'd ever even seen one for sale. And, um, if you know how much they go for, or if you don't, they go for a lot. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is really trick. I'm totally blown away. I, you know, I think the thing is I had no idea what this was going to feel like. I'll give you some specs here. Uh, the weight it says is 4.6 ounces, and it's a pretty good, pretty good weight. Um, definitely feels heavier. Eh, maybe about the seven. I, I about the same there. Got that new bench made there. Of course, my mini Sebenza. When I haven't done a review on, which I just picked up recently. Yeah. That's been very cool. I haven't even really had time to EDC that guy at all. I'll have to do another video on that one separately. The Birch. Very cool knife as well. The Mid-Tech Dow. Checking this thing out. It is just... It's a trip. I don't even know what to say about it. It's just a... I've never seen anything like it. Some of the other specs, I guess. Uh, 3.75 inch blade overall. 8.75 inches. It says closed, 5 inches overall, black G10 for the 
for the spacer. Tip up carry, of course. Wow. Let's fold this thing open, man. Wow. What a trip. That is a unique knife. I'm not going to say very unique because there's no such thing. It's either unique or not. And this is unique. And in the best sense of the word, wow. It's got that wave feature. Wow, it really does feel good in the hand too. You know, I was curious as to how it would feel. That is too, too cool, man. There is the logo, of course. Emerson Spec War Knives. It's got that awesome just belly on it, and then whoop, that recurve. Titanium bolsters, green micarta, super grippy. It's got that nice clip. Truly a unique knife. And I think I love his description. Uh, Mr. Emerson's description of it, you know, this is something you'd see like in a in a tavern, some swarthy guy carrying it. I don't plan on making this a safe queen. I want to carry this thing. It's got a good feel. I mean, for a knife that is a almost what looks like I don't even know how to describe it. I mean, it's a gentleman's knife, but it's just not very gentlemanly, if you know what I mean. I mean, it looks just sick. It looks like it can just do some damage. Wow. Well, I guess that's it. I mean, I wish I could tell you more about the knife, but I, as I said, I'm glad everybody got to see this thing unboxed. It's my first custom Emerson and I got didn't have to go to a show I bought it you know like I said I entered that lottery and my name was called and it is a cool knife you gotta check out that wave feature but what, it's just an inch I mean there's nothing like it what a cool knife I don't even know where to put it in the classification I guess, I mean, it's got a completely different type blade than this beast. When you look and compare the size, blade stock. You know, I guess if people are more familiar with maybe the small Sebenzas. Looks to be thicker than that. Well, maybe about the same. And compared with my other Emerson. There you go. Too cool. Sorry for babbling on here. I'm just totally overwhelmed with the coolness of this knife. Just rock solid. Thank you, Mr. Emerson, for making this knife available to me. Thanks to the Emerson family. It was a, a great lottery, very cool auction. You can check it out on their website. And thank you all for watching. Liberty 4343. Keep the shiny side up, and I'll... Uh, Hopefully be talking to you folks soon. Cheers.